So when I was first getting started in marine biology, there were so many questions I had about where do I even start with finding a job in this field and what do those jobs even look like? And over the past few years, there's been a few people that have really helped me find these resources for finding jobs and they've been so useful for me for not only finding jobs, but also funding opportunities for my research, scholarships for internships, paid internships, and so many other opportunities with this, these resources. So in this video, I'm gonna be going over what exactly those six resources are and also how to navigate them. If you're new here, my name's Eli, I'm a marine biologist and I love to make videos about marine biology and a career advice. So if that is of interest to you, then I definitely encourage you to subscribe to this channel. But anyway, today I'm gonna to be talking about a lot of the specific resources and platforms that I've used to find a lot of the opportunities that I have been talking about in a lot of my videos. So the very first one I wanna take you to and walk you through is the Florida Sea Grant Facebook page. Every single week they post a job and internship roundup. And this has been so awesome to stay in tune with summer opportunities and staying in tune with different kinds of opportunities related to marine biology. Um, so they do this every single Wednesday and they do a lot of the hard work for you in going out and searching for these jobs, internships and opportunities and bringing them to you in a very simplified format. So I'll go down and show you what that looks like. And I also wanted to point out that I have actually worked with this person before, which is really funny, <laughs> but they also point out different scholarships um, that you should be aware of that are relevant to marine biology. Um, this is Brian who does, who just got his PhD in um, shark research. And this is pretty cool that he just happens to be on this page while I'm, <laughs> while I'm making this video. So Shout out to Brian, he is a great guy. Anyway, I wanted to quickly show you what the job and internship roundup looks like. So this is an example. They post, it could be anywhere from, it's usually around like 10 jobs or internships and they categorize it by these are the internship opportunities and then these are the jobs. And they're also, I wanted to mention that they're not just Florida positions. They are more geared towards the East Coast and the Southeast because this is Florida Sea Grant, but I've seen different jobs that are all across the United States. I've seen them in California and various other states. So this isn't just limited to Florida opportunities. So the next resource I wanted to bring your attention to is the Texas A&M Department of Wildlife and Fisheries Sciences Job Board. So this is a great place for more general um, opportunities and the opportunities definitely vary a lot more than the last resource, the Florida Sea Grant post, because there are a lot of wildlife biology and I've even seen veterinary positions. It's obviously, it's updated very um, frequently. This was only, I think today that this was posted and there are five ahead of that and you can also search specific terms so if you are interested in something more related to um, fisheries then you can go ahead and type in fisheries and that's going to give you um, lots of it's, it's very easy to navigate so i think that is self-explanatory um, definitely check out that website on your own to see more specific jobs that you might be interested in. Oh, I also wanted to quickly acknowledge that they also post PhD positions and master's positions as well, which can also be difficult to understand where those opportunities lie as well. So always keep an eye on that if you're on the job search for technician position, internship, or um, graduate school. So this third resource is for people that are more interested in working with the government. So you should also know this before applying to or getting really excited about a specific government job that there's a whole system of levels of expertise that kind of determine where you are eligible to apply to and they also help determine the pay scale. So the more entry level positions are GS3 and 4 positions are typically the internship and student job positions. 
Um, and then moving up from there, the GS five and seven jobs, or five through seven jobs are more entry level positions. And then as you move up to eight to 12, there's mid-level positions. And then higher than that are supervisory and then like the top of the top um, admins. So I know that information might not seem that relevant, but I wanted to include that just because if you see something that's like GS eight or 12 and you haven't worked with the government before, then it's probably not a great position for you to look into further. Look for those GS3, GS4 positions in the very beginning to um, get those entry level positions within the government to get started. All right, so now actually going to the website, I went ahead and typed in fisheries because I thought this would give me the most relevant marine biology and marine science related information and jobs so i also went ahead and over to the side hit um, the grade from gs1 to 7 so i'm looking for entry level positions if you're looking for something later on then i would go for whatever is relevant to you the types of positions that you'll see are from all different kinds of agencies which it was kind of surprising to me because i did not realize how many different agencies offered fisheries in marine science related positions, but you see Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service, Bureau of Land Management, Forest Service, all kinds of things. And there also is a pretty substantial variation in the types of jobs that are available. So here you have a straight up fisheries biologist, and this is actually an entry level fisheries biologist position, which is kind of interesting that this, well, I guess this isn't too much of a entry level position because it goes GS7 to 11. So there's also technician positions, there's program support assistance for specific programs related to um, fisheries, and I think you get the idea. So hope that helps you in navigating government jobs. Okay, so the next resource I wanted to bring your attention to for finding different jobs and opportunities within marine biology is just Google. Google has actually a really dynamic platform for finding job opportunities, and they give you a a lot of tools to search very specific things and it's not my favorite for finding jobs it's really kind of I don't know delicate with if you switch up the search terms or if you switch up if some of the categories are wrong but nevertheless it searches all across the internet for a lot of different job opportunities and it is very useful for that reason. So up here, I, I've tried a few different search terms, but for right now, um, marine biology jobs is what I am going with. So you can go by the location. So if I wanna work in Honolulu, because who wouldn't wanna work there? Um, it'll pull up all of the jobs that have been posted all across the internet related to, um, or located in Honolulu. Hawaii. And then another thing I wanted to show you really quick was you can search by the employer here. So also a very flexible search option. And then you can search by the type. So if you only want a part-time position in something near you, um, you can search that as well. Um, you can search by just basically anything. There's not too much I wanted to say because there's just so many different ways you could go about this website. If you are using Google Jobs, it's a really great platform to search across the entire internet to find exactly what you're looking for. Just be creative with how you search it. So the last two resources I wanted to mention are probably my most useful of all the ones mentioned because they are, I, they keep me up to date on very relevant opportunities right within my own email and those are the two listservs I'm subscribed to. What a listserv is, is basically a platform of, it's basically a big professional group chat of all scientists and professionals and people and students around the world who want to contribute to this um, email list can. There's always people posting webinars that are really useful, conferences that are being advertised. People are also always posting job opportunities as well. So master's positions, PhD positions, research assistant positions. Coral List is my absolute favorite resource that I've been subscribed to for the past two to three years, making me aware of a lot of really great things within 
ocean science and marine biology. The second listserv I'm subscribed to, and I've also mentioned this in past videos, is Ecolog. So this is put on by the Ecological Society of America. And Ecolog is the same thing, except this is a much more broader community of people contributing to this email list and it's for ecology. So this listserv is, it has a lot more messages normally and it is, sometimes there's marine related things and sometimes it's just really useful um, opportunities that are still relevant to me, like webinars I might want to attend related to science communication or programming um, or different papers that I find really interesting, relevant to my own research or different scholarship opportunities or conferences I should think about attending. So those two, Ecolog and Coralist, are just absolutely phenomenal for staying on top of resources. And I highly recommend going to the websites, I'll link them in the description below, to subscribe to these emails to always be up to date on really great opportunities in marine science and ecology. So those are six of the most useful resources that have really helped keep me ahead of the game and on top of things within marine biology and ecology and keeping myself moving forward in this field. I really hope that you have found these resources useful. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below or feel free, I'm always open to um, DMs and messages on my social media. I love to talk to you guys. It's been really cool to see the growth of this channel over the past few months. Very young channel and very high engagement already. You guys are incredible, but stay tuned for future videos related to ocean related career advice. And then make sure you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for watching.